YouTube Zodiacs, what's going on? It's your favorite Gemini cast, the Gemini. I'm back with another video, back with another episode of Cash Out or I Don't Know. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge X Men collector, a huge X Men fan. Um, shout out Gambit, shout out Jean Grey, shout out uh, 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 Cyclops, you know what I'm saying, Professor X, the whole, the whole bunch, man. Uh, but today from XM Studios, we do have Jean Grey. Now, this is a quarter scale statue coming in at $1,099, um, which to some people, yeah, you know, it could be a tad much, man. But to me, I think it's right on pace for its price. Um, I love everything that I'm seeing from the statue. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right into this bad lady. Let's dive right into this bad lady. <laughs> All right. So I want to give a huge shout out to my guy, CFO, man. If you guys do not know uh, Enchan's place, man, go ahead and follow Enchan. Uh, follow this crazy guy right here, man. This is my guy, uh, Enchan, CFO, man. Great dude, great dude, great dude. Uh, thanks for providing me some of this uh, in-depth footage uh, from the XM shop so we can get this uh, footage here for you guys. Um, looking right on to it, first of all, I just want to say that I love the bass. Um, shout out Anthony Forbes, a.k.a. X-Men Exclusives. I'm all for these types of basses right here. Um, I don't have a single bass that looks exactly like this. So for me, seeing this, I'm all for it. Like This bass looks amazing to me. Um, it's different. It's... I just really like the colors that pop on it and, and everything. Um, so I'm, I'm really all for it. Now, if you guys don't know, um, this statue here does come with two portraits. So you're going to have this portrait here as well as another portrait with whited out eyes and a teleconnect uh, power. Um, I love the yellow, uh, the blues. I really like the different hues of blues, the shading there, um, the line work. Um, the pink is really well painted and colored as well like it really is um it's almost like she has on um <laughs> leggings so to say with some sort of like running sneakers um and obviously i think people are going to focus more on the physical attributes of Jean gray uh such as the buttocks area uh as well as the uh, the chest um the buttocks the ass you know i'm not really worrying about too much as far as like a, a, a woman's physique i mean she's going to be turned to the back anyway so you're not going to be able to see it far as the chest, I could see how the chest is going to worry some people. But then again, it's their interpretation of this of this character, their rendition. Uh, I believe the sculptor is George George Molina or Medina. Excuse me if I'm if I said the name wrong. I uh, want to give everybody their props for all the work involved in it. Um, the Sentinel is is fucked. The Sentinel's fucked. <laughs> Uh, we'll get a closer look here at the uh, at the portrait. Um, the portrait, I don't know. I really like this portrait here. I like being able to see the eyes. I think the lips are, are have a nice tinge of gloss to them. Um, I love how the hair is swooped over, but then also to the side. Um, as you guys can see on the side, how it does compare with their Nightcrawler as well. Uh, I do have the Sideshow Nightcrawler on order, so that one I'll be pairing mine with the Sideshow Nightcrawler. But just wanted to show you guys that. Um, now... I think the eyes, and I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna pause this right here. I think the eyes are very well done. So if this is the one that you wanted to to pair, wanted to you know put on, I don't think anything is wrong with this. Um, I actually do like this one a lot. I really, really do. It wouldn't be the one I would actually want to display, just due to the other one is so much more better with the whited out eyes, with the with the effect, uh, with the effect for me. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at the look at the power effect. Um, look at the whited out eyes. You're still getting those lips. You're still getting that hair. You're still getting so much detail. And the hair is done so, so well, man. So well. I, I love what I'm seeing. Um, this looks amazing. This looks really, really amazing. Um, this is one that I'm very excited to, to get into the collection. Cannot wait for this statue here. Looks really, really good. Like, seriously, this looks really, really good. Great detail by the team over at uh, XM Studios uh, producing this statue here. Um, I want to talk more about the patches on the uh, the side of the uh, outfit here. 
I think they did a great job uh, with the patches, kind of making them stand out, even though they are the same color. You have the hints of the underspray going around the line work, which I think is a very good detail. You can see a lot of texture on the padding. I think that's very spot on. Um, I really like what I'm what I'm seeing from this from this character. I really, really am. And again, you can't say enough about the pose. Let's talk about the pose. Um, First of all, I never really have any fear as far as like leaning, et cetera, et cetera, with XM Studios. They're very good with the engineering, um, the design. Uh, so it seems like her left, her, excuse me, her right leg will be pe will be pegged in, uh, keyed in, but then, and then the left leg will just be kind of resting there, or maybe it'll be a double, double key where they'll have a key on like the shin area as well as the uh, right foot. So we'll see there. Um, but these are some great, great, great great close-ups um i want to know you guys thoughts is this a statue that you guys do plan on picking up do you prefer the xm or do you prefer the sideshow we will but we will be back with collectible verses as well next friday we probably will do the gene gray uh xm versus sideshow that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna kick it off with marvel we've always done uh dc so we'll kick it off with marvel sideshow versus xm for this um I can't say enough though, and I just before we close this out, I can't say enough about the power effects. I think the power effects are spot on, and this is the reason what tips it over the edge for me. Um, I love the power effects. I love that the colors are so vibrant. Essentially, what XM with Sideshow Collectibles did with their Nightcrawler is how I feel XM is doing with their Jean Grey. Just far as it being vibrant, it stands out, and I love that. I love that. Um, I love that you're getting more actual, not like Sentinel hand or, or whatever you're getting here. I love that you're getting like this entire fucked up thing that she's done. That she's like ripped this thing apart and I'm, I'm, I'm all here for it. You know, I, I love what I'm seeing. Uh, it looks great and I can't say enough about it. I can't say enough, but it does go to the final question. The question that we're all here for, is this a cash shot? Or is this, a, I don't know. To me personally, I do wish, I do think 1099 is a tad high. I would have loved for it to be uh, be a lower price. Um, however, I would have loved for it to be a lower price. Just being up front with you guys. But I am okay with the price. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because the Sideshow one for the exclusive, which is how I would want to get it, I feel like now being able to get that exclusive, it's just a little bit harder than what I've been able to come across myself for as far as at a reasonable price. So for me, I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, 1100 bucks after shipping, you're probably looking at 250 So 1350 uh, for this for this statue, Ugh, a little pricey, but... But what you guys can do, if you do go ahead and order from Spec Fiction, uh, you guys can go ahead and use that code CASH10. And I will leave a link in the description. Uh, and you guys can uh, order from there if you do want to support the channel. Um, and I would very much so appreciate that. But in my personal opinion, this is definitely a uh, cash out. And it's something I am adding to the cash cave. I've been looking to get to get this Gene Cray. Um, I've always liked it, the Sideshow one, you know, but I think this one does it here for me, which is all the powers, all the kinetic energy. Um, it, it does it for me in, with the pose. Personally, I think this is the best female character that XM Studios has put out since their Rogue. This is the best female character XM has put out since their Rogue. I love the presence on this. I don't. I love the fact that it's not like a huge footprint, but it's not small. It's like that in between, no different than Rogue. And for me, this is the best female character that XM has done since Rogue. I said it again. Um, I'm gonna be ordering this. I'm gonna be ordering this and bringing this to the to the Cash Cave, man. Uh, shout out Spec Fiction, by the way. Like I said, use code Cash in if you guys wanna go ahead and uh, get this bad boy. Um, so we're looking at uh, 51 centimeters on the height, um, just to convert that real quick. Uh, so that's 21 inches approximately uh, for the height. Uh, the width, uh, you're looking at 34, which is for about 14, a little bit less than 14 inches wide. 
as well as 14 inches depth so the footprint isn't that bad at all man it's really not that bad i think it's a good footprint actually um i think it's you know it's going to fit very well into the collection you could pair this like i said with so many different characters that i've come out with um xmr does a tremendous job i can't say enough about the job that they do um and i'm excited to go ahead and bring this to the cash game look at the flames the flames aren't red such as ghost rider on horse ghost rider on bike uh super skull hopefully the human torch but even though these are per, uh pink um it, it's it's still amazing man it's still amazing so i can't say enough about this um remember to like share comment subscribe uh the channel is back my apologies that i have been gone so long but the channel is back we back up and running it's march 1st baby let's go ahead and get this um i will be leaving i will be making a video as well just to put this out there real quick i will be making a video as well on uh pretty much just a couple thoughts about a couple things uh so i'll make that as soon as i can i want to tell you guys thank you so much for subscribing uh hit the like button subscribe uh, also join the cash and out collecting community facebook group uh which will be in the description as well thank you guys enough man uh this has been the latest episode of cash out i don't know man hey cash out baby cash out code cash 10 at spec fiction baby put some cash in your life put some cash in your life